My first car when I joined a Porsche Club of America was a 1981 924. I remember it clearly, just like your first one everyone remembers very well. It was red, black interior, and I loved the car, drove it to 150,000 miles, and I still have fond memories. So when we stumbled upon this 1980 924, it looks like it came out of a time capsule. We said, boy, we gotta document this on video. So we're here with Andy Jalepis, who from Golden Gate region, who's the proud owner of this car. He just got off winning uh, first in class at the Legends of the uh, Autobahn, a well-deserved win. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the car and uh, how he's maintained it. and. You're going to see on video this car is a time capsule that's the best way i can put this car so andy why don't you tell us how long have you owned the car uh, I've, I've owned the car since uh, 2003. i bought it uh, with my father uh, my father was uh, coming home from work one day and at the time i've always been a porsche enthusiast uh, my first dream car was the 959 uh, and uh, over the years i've always been fond of the 9911 and all the different models that, that were coming out. So he was coming home from work one day and he noticed this car in a, in, in a uh, dealership lot. And he said, you know, Andy, I know this is not a 911 or, you know, or, or the, the, the one you were looking for, but, but you might want to look at this one. So he, he told me about it and he, I said, well, is it a 944? He said, no, it's a 924. I said, huh, I don't think I've heard of a 924 before. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit more about it and then I saw it and I uh, just fell in love with it and I said, yeah, definitely. Needed some work, but over the years, uh, my father and I worked on it together. That, that is, you said you found it on a dealer lot, so did someone actually trade this in? I, I think so. I think it was a uh, first owner. Uh, the car was uh, purchased uh, in uh, Burlingame. I think it was Newfeld Porsche at the time. And uh, uh, for many years, the, the owner lived in Palo Alto. And he had all the documents in the in the glove box, so it was just trying to piece the history back together, I guess. And I was just more interested about putting it all back together. And uh, what I noticed was uh, uh, that it had Oregon license plates on it. So as I looked through the receipts in there and everything, I found some information that were uh, like a campus map and an audio a cassette from the University of Oregon. And I thought, well, that's weird. So piecing it together, I found out that they had taken it up to Oregon. The, the father had given it to his daughter when she went to school uh, back at the late 80s. And she had it up there for just around campus. And uh, then they brought it back. And it was just in uh, Palo Alto for the rest of the time uh, since 1994. Now, what struck me as, you know, as any 924, even early 944 owner knows, uh, these dashes tend to crack the first time they hit sunlight. And, and this may be that I know of maybe the first uncracked dash. Um, it's an original dash as far as you know? As far as I know, I've never replaced it. I've, uh, I've always wondered, oh my God, what am I gonna do if I do you know, find a crack on there or anything like that? And over the years, I've just been pampering it and just you know, always put the sunshade on and make sure not, the temperature not get too high in there. Uh, always been curious which products to use, but as I joined the PCA club, started learning more about what products are good, what, what products are not, you know, what, what types of compounds in the product, you know, will prolong the life of the dashboard. Now the um, interior, once again, it looks like a time capsule. How, how many miles are on the car? Uh, the, the car currently has 26,300 miles on it, a little bit over 300. And uh, when I purchased it, I think it had just a little bit over 16,000 miles at the time. Uh, it had the sheepskin seat covers over it, and I thought that was pretty cool. And then when I, and I, at the same time, I thought, well, maybe they're torn. That's why they have the sheepskin covers over it. So when I peeled it back and looked at it, I said, wow, these are practically brand new. So. I guess you realize you got something very, very special here. That and now you become the care, the, the carekeeper, the, the one who's going to have to maintain this car because it's such an important part of Porsche's history when this car came out. It was an entry-level car, brought many people in the Porsche, and uh, I'm sure I heard people walking by saying, I remember when I had a 924 and whatnot, so, you know, that's uh, it's obviously not a daily driver. You're bringing out for special events, I guess? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I was uh, just thrilled when, when I joined the club, uh, just the camaraderie and everybody uh, uh, saying the same thing. You know, wow, I remember my first car was a 924, and, you know, they go on, you know, to explain which edition it was. Maybe it was the Le Mans, or it was a Sebring, or, or just a, tur uh, a regular one, or a turbo. And uh, uh, it definitely brings back the 
ki kind of the same situation because it was it's my first sort of entry level car into Porsche. I'd never owned a Porsche before. Uh, I've always uh, wanted to, and uh, when I saw this, it was just an opportunity uh, waiting uh, to happen. So. Well, there you go. This isn't a barn find, but I guess you could call it a dealership lot find. So you never know who's going to trade what at a Porsche dealership. Right. Thanks a lot, Andy. Thank you. Thank you very much.